If you suddenly came into the possession of 20 tons of Nutella what would you do? Invest in insulin. Nutella and insulin, the breakfast of champions. Breakfast Bad, the story of celebrity chef of the name Guy Fieri who after years of ridicule and a diagnosis of type 2 diabetes decides to take matters into his own hands by illegally acquiring 20 tons of Nutella. Little does he know, Jesse Pinkman, Nutella enthusiast and proud owner of a small town bakery, Pinkman's Pastries, is looking to get back into the cooking game, but this time just for desserts. Tune in Thursdays at 9 p.m. on the Food Network. Breaking Fast Edit, First Gold, Thanks Fams. Ducking Deserves Gold. That was great. I agree with your sentiment, but why the duck did someone guild you? What is my perfect crime? I break into Ferrero's at midnight. Do I go for the vault? No, I go for the Nutella. It's priceless. As I'm taking it down, a woman catches me. She tells me to stop. It's her father's business. She's Ferrero. I say no. We make love all night. In the morning, the cops come and I escape in one of their uniforms. I tell her to meet me in Mexico, but I go to Canada. I don't trust her. Besides, I like the cold. 30 years later, I get a postcard. I have a son and he's the chief of police. This is where the story gets interesting. I tell Ferrero to meet me in Paris by the Trocadero. She's been waiting for me all these years. She's never taken another lover. I don't care. I don't show up. I go to Berlin. That's where I stash the Nutella. Edit, no, don't give me gold. Don't call me a hero. Do you know who the real heroes are? The guys who wake up every morning and go into their normal jobs, and get a distress call from the commissioner and take off their glasses and change into capes and fly around fighting crime. Those are the real heroes. Those are the ones that deserve gold. Beautiful. You saw your chance and you took it. LOL. The fact that they changed the copy past his name to Ferrero is killing me because I'm imagining a stereotypical South Italian guy as the girl. Best. Dwight. Story. Ever. I'd like to report that I just found 19, um 18 tons of Nutella. Is there a reward for the 17 tons of Nutella I just found? Thanks for the gold. Considering I'm in America and not Germany, I'd repackage it and sell it to the local stores at half the price of Nutella's wholesale. Price I'm finding from wholesale sites comes out to about $3 per pound. So depending on whether the stolen product is short ton or long ton that can be $60,000 to $67,200, $120,000 to $134,400 at my price. Edit, metric ton, 2,204 pounds, long ton, 2,240 pounds edit, I was right the first time. Again, my bad. Edit again, for those wondering why Germany? Edit, the plan is to sell batches to multiple stores over time. Not one batch is that would get me caught and net a smaller, probably 10% of the wholesale value. Find the largest spoon I can comfortably fit inside my mouth. I thought the sentence would end with something other than mouth. Yeah, I also thought he would say dick. Find the largest spoon I can comfortably fit inside my dick. Ouch. Tomorrow on the front page, Tifu by putting a spoonful of Nutella into my dick. Then a bunch of people begin to copy it, all ducking up in a wide variety of ways posting several stories of them on Tifu. It becomes a trend as the subreddit Renatale Sex becomes a thing. Start a dessert calzone company. My signature item would be chocolate Nutella and banana, strawberry, peach, or pineapple calzones. Basically chocolate and sweet fruit for texture. The Locale Calzone Zone The SoCal Locale Calzone Zone I don't think you can serve a Nutella calzone there bud. It could be calzone SoCal Locale Calzone Zone. Calzone Locale SoCal Locale Calzone Zone Prices are dropping at calzone Locale SoCal Locale Calzone Zone. For a limited time only get a solo solo locale calzone free with purchase of a solo solo locale calzone. Prices vary by location, see store for details. Reward avalanches. I would not allay anyone. Edit, thank you for my first gold. Redefine mud wrestling. Dirt, diarrhea or dessert a fun guessing game for the whole family. Plot twist. 
it's all diarrhea and dirt because you ate all the Nutella yesterday. Brought to you by M. Night Shyamalan. M. Night Shyamalan and Nutella. Just leave it on the highway. Nice try, criminals. You need to figure out what to do with your truck of Nutella before actually stealing it. Frown I think people are on to me. Nice try. I know nothing about 20 tons of Nutella. Get 20 tons of creamy peanut butter. 20 tons of chunky peanut butter. 20 tons of fluff. 20 tons of jelly. 20 tons of honey. 32,000 slices of bread. Are you suggesting 15 pounds of goo per sandwich? Huge slices. Sell it to a porn company. Nutella. Let's just say it would end with the statement best. Death. Ever on my tombstone. Spread it on the booty. Then shit and get 20.00125 tons of Nutella yeah, I did research, daily poop of a person weighs 2.5 pounds or 0.00125 tons. Somewhere deep in Google's bowels, they have a deposit of this information. They use it for some unknown metric that makes them tons of money. Go on a baking spree. So many things can be made with Nutella. Username checks out. Got any favorite recipe things to make with Nutella? Nutella stuffed peanut butter cookies. This is the recipe I use. Handletheheat.com Not very mysterious anymore. I think it would really depend on the containers it was in. Is it in a huge vat or pool-like container? Play on it. Try so swim in it. Not sure if the consistency would allow this. Is it in individual hygienically sealed containers? Donate a guy away as much as I could. Drums. I really have no clue that would be a lot of Nutella. No way you'd be able to swim in it, you'd need it to be a little warm but not hot enough it would be like napalm sticking to your skin. Worth it. I would start harassing my nemesis by hiding jars of Nutella around his house. Everywhere he turns, he will find Nutella. In his laundry basket, under the couch, in his bed sheets. You might think to yourself how the hell is that a bad thing? Well, he will get so used to having the Nutella around, and then one day I'll just stop. There's no ways you can just go back to a Nutella-free life. And if he tries to maintain his Nutella standard of living, he'll go bankrupt. It's perfect. We found the thief. Nice try up. Where's my reward money? I swear I'm not guilty. Runs away. With his mouth full of Nutella. I'd first make a giant ball of Nutella. Then I'd put that snail that's been slowly chasing me inside of it, freeze it, and then jettison it off into orbit around Alpha Centauri. It will become a Chaka planet and I won't have to worry about the snail for a bit. I remember that immortal snail. It remembers you too. Good afternoon, I am Nigerian Prince. I have 20 ton of product Nutella that I must need shipped to American. I would like to make partnership with you. Please send 237 US dollars to secure first shipment. Looking forward to business with you. Prince Odonka Nadanka. Have a stomachache. Two chicks at the same time. Jerk off with a fistful of Nutella every morning. Do you want a yeast infection? Because that's how to get a yeast infection. Would have been good to know a week ago pal. Try and eat 20 tons of Nutella. Hold up there bud. There are around 907,184.74 grams in a ton. We've got 20 pounds of the stuff, so that's 18,143,694.8 grams. The serving size, according to the Nutella label, is 37 grams divide 18,143,694.8 by 37 and we get 490,370.13 servings. I'll round it off at 490,370 for simplicity's sake. That means we have 490,370 servings of Nutella. At 200 calories a serving, you get 98,074,000 calories. Do you know how many calories that is? Listen, the average adult needs 2,000 calories a day, give or take. You could eat twice that much. 4,000 calories a day. You'd be able to eat 4,000 calories a day for 67 years before you would run out of Nutella. 
the Nutella was stolen in Europe so they're most definitely talking about metric tons, meaning there are 20 million grams of Nutella exactly. Probably die. Allergies. The answer was found in the post below. Turn it into a soft ice cream flavor and sell it at ball games.